a decent price for Chanel. So don't come for me being like, you spent $20 on blotting paper, Chanel blotting paper, boo. Hey, it's Shanae back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, hey girl, hey, make sure you take a moment to stop and subscribe, like this video, and turn your bell notifications on so you know when I post. So today, y'all, we're doing a what's in my bag video, finally, okay? So I know y'all been asking, do not kill me. It's finally here. <laughs> but um, I love really small bags. I love me an itsy bitsy teeny weeny purse. And everybody is always asking me like, what the heck is in your purse? Because it's so little, how could you possibly have everything you need? And I do wanna say there's two reasons, three reasons why I carry smaller bags. So one is because I'm petite and I'm like 5'1 or 5'2. So I just feel like large big bags can be a little overwhelming for my frame and it just takes away from like my style and my look. I need something that's like small and just flows with the whole aesthetic, you know what I mean? Second reason is because I used to carry really big bags and it used to make me put so much stuff in my bag. I had way more than I needed and then I just got overwhelmed with the amount of stuff in my purse and it was just too much. Third reason I like smaller bags, it goes along with that other reason, it's because they're lighter to carry. They're more convenient, and the less stuff in your bag, the less weight you have on you. Like, I, I put my bags on my shoulder. I love top handle bags, I love carrying, holding, and I just don't wanna have anything heavy. You know what I mean? So, that's pretty much why I carry smaller bags, and I love them. And I love how brands and designer brands and stuff are like leaning more towards like small bags, little bags. So I love clutches and small purchases anyway. So, yeah, I just think that it just works for me. <laughs> so the bag that we're gonna be going through today is my bubblegum pink tail part and um, small. So it's right here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it off of the hook so we can go through it. And before we um, take each item out, I just wanna show you guys like an overview of how everything looks in the bag. So this might look like a lot. Kinda is a lot, but you know. It works for me. So I will say that I cannot snap the bag, but I don't mind because it's so little that I kind of have control over whether or not there's any spillage. Everything is pretty secure. You know what I mean? Everything is it where, it's where it needs to be. So a little overview about Telfar. I don't know how anybody could not know what or who Telfar is, but just in case you know, um, Telfar is a black owned brand. Um, I think the guy's name is Tel. His last name is Telfar. The designer name. I'll put his name down here on the screen. But um, it is vegan leather. These bags come in three different sizes. This is the small bag. It comes in medium and it comes in large also. And it comes in a ton of colors, y'all. Like, and they just be releasing like new colors here and there. But um, I wanted to get the bubblegum pink because I knew this bag was just like specialty as far as like defining where we are in culture right now. And I wanted to get a bag that kind of like symbolized something for me. Like I wanna remember where I was when I was 27 and what was happening in the world and the whole like BLM thing happened and all of that. So this is something that I wanted to purchase just to represent that time because I always say like one day I'm going to have children a daughter specifically and I want to be able to pass things down to her and I want to give her meaning behind the purchase so that is one of the reasons why I got this bag the reason I got pink is because again it is a specialty bag and it comes in so many colors and I didn't want to just get like a standard black or brown because I can get a black or brown purse from like anywhere I wanted to get something that was a little more statement and that spoke specifically to my style and aesthetic I love pink so bubblegum pink it was now I do have two more tail bars on the way from their second bag security program. I ordered a medium white and I ordered a small brown. So another of this size and I got the medium white one for like work purposes. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what's in the bag. So I'm gonna just like pull starting from what's on top to what's at the bottom. And I'm gonna hold the bag up. I'm trying to see if I can sit it on something because I want y'all to know that like I'm literally pulling directly that ain't high enough. <laughs> I want y'all to know that I'm pulling directly from the bag. Like I don't want y'all to think that I'm like playing y'all. You know what I mean? You can kind of, you can kind of tell. I'm, I'm going right here in the bag. So let's just start at the top. First thing, my AirPods. Everybody knows AirPods are essential. This is my second pair of AirPods. Drop a, let me know in the comments below if you still on your first pair of AirPods. Cause I know that people go through so many AirPods. It's not even funny. This is my second set because 
the first pair, I think I lost one of the AirPods and then I just kept that other one that I had for the longest and I then I accidentally like washed it in the washing machine and it stopped working. So I decided to go ahead and invest in a new pair. I did get the second generation because they're obviously more expensive now, but I just decided to go ahead and just replace the pair that I already had. And then I just got this little case to go over on from Target. So that's what's up first. Second thing I wanna pull out is small, but it's a necessity for me because I wear lash extensions, so I keep a spoolie in my bag at all times. Um, I brush my lashes probably 30 times a day. I need to get some of the um, spoolies off Amazon that have the little case to go to them because I don't, this is probably not the most sanitary way to like store this, but this is the one that I get from my lash tag. Every time she gives me a new spoolie, I toss the old one and I just, you know, replace it with a new one. But yeah, I always keep this in my purse. Next thing up is my um, Fenty Gloss Balm Cream, and this is in Honey Waffles, and I always keep whatever lip combo I'm wearing in my bag. So this is what I'm wearing today, so that's why it's in my purse, just in case you don't know which color I'm talking about. This is what it looks like. I thought she was gonna focus. There we go. This is like my favorite color of the um, Gloss Balm Creams. But that other gloss, uh, Fenty Glow, the Universal Lip Gloss, that that one is that one is still top tier. Like that's my favorite one. But the Gloss Balm Cream is a different formula. It's a little creamier, hence the name Cream. So, yeah, got that in there. Second lip product in there. I always keep a lip balm in my purse. This is the Super Balm by KNC Beauty, and this one is Rose Fragrance. I think it smells really really good like I love putting this on it's really moisturizing and by the way y'all all the items that I have in my purse um whatever I can I'll make sure I have it listed in the description box y'all know I always keep the description box flooded <laughs> words to my girl Dominique I keep my description block box flooded with links so you don't even have to worry about that but <sighs> lip balm I always keep um, a perfume so this is YSL Mon Paris and it's in one of those little travel um, perfume bottles because I don't want to put the whole I don't know what's up with my focus today I'm gonna have to whoa <laughs> I'm gonna have to see what's going on with that but yeah my little stand just fell over so ignore that but yeah this is one of those little travel um, perfume bottles I got this off Amazon so I just pump it and keep it in my purse because I really like this fragrance it's actually like one of my everyday fragrances so um, even though I do have a travel size one I still wanted to use that specifically for travel. To keep in my purse, I did, this is cool. This works for me and it's small, so you know what I mean? Works just fine. Next thing is my Touchland hand sanitizer. You gotta keep the hand sanitizer on deck. COVID ain't going nowhere, even if COVID wasn't here. You need hand sanitizer. And I love how chic this one is. Like I got this from Ulta, but it is by the brand Touchland. So it just looks like this. And this is their neutral fragrance. They do have other fragrances and then like the um, hand sanitizer itself is like different colors. Like they have a green one, a blue one, a peach one, pink, orange, you know, all that cute stuff. But I just wanted something really like chic and simple. So I went ahead and got the, um, the clear one, just the neutralizing one. Next thing up are my Chanel blotting papers. I posted these on Instagram one time and somebody thought um, it was like a notepad. My daddy thought it was a notepad too. He was like, is that a Chanel notepad? I'm like, no. They're blotting papers. I get oily in my T-zone, especially when I wear makeup. So I like to keep blotting papers in my bag. I don't know, I'm trying to show y'all what they look like, but seems like the focus is acting kind of off. But you get the picture. There's also a mirror in this compact. And I did get this from the Chanel Beauty Store here in Atlanta, but there are, um, they're online too. And I think this was like $19, which is a decent price for Chanel. So don't come for me being like, you spent $20 on blotting paper, Chanel blotting paper boo. Okay, that's why it was $20 and I'm here for it. Any little piece of luxury I can get and it's affordable to me. I'm gonna treat myself, okay? I'm never not gonna treat myself. That's one thing about it, so yeah. <laughs> Next up in Chanel world, this is my Chanel compact mirror. This was my birthday gift to myself last year. This is about $49. I did recently also give one of these away in, um, for my 500 subscriber giveaway. So it just looks like this. It has the magnifying mirror in it as well as like the standard size. So I always keep this in my purse because girl, you need to, 
You need a mirror to like check yourself. You can't always rely on your camera. You need a mirror, okay? So next up is my card case. This is also black owned. It's from um, Love Paradise is the name of the company and they sell really cute like stationery, just lifestyle items. And I love it a lot. It's black and it just says mega bucks on it. So it has my ID, all of my cards you know all of that and um i like it i kept going back and forth between this one because i wanted like um a designer um card case but i just couldn't figure out which one i wanted but i just absolutely knew i had to replace my old one like it was time for her to she had to go so i thought this was a really really good um option for me it's all black and it's just like a really nice like i don't know what to call this material i want to say canvas but um, I don't know, it's just super durable and it just says mega bucks and gold, which I love because that's what we're aiming for is mega bucks, okay? Like I want my money <laughs> and I need it to be a lot. <laughs> so that's my card case. Next thing up is a pen and this is a special pen. I cannot remember the name of the company I got this from, but they are also black owned. I picked this up at a, um, like a outdoor shopping market, but um, you can kind of see the material is coming off on the pen. This pen writes so well, y'all. It's so pretty too. It's pink and it says love across it. I'm trying to show you, but it's not really focusing. It wants to focus on me. That's the issue. Okay, okay. Okay, I think we got some action. So yes, it says love in this really pretty script font and then there's just like a heart on the side right there. But this pen writes so well. I have to find the name of this company because I want another pen when this ink runs out. This is the smoothest writing pen I've ever felt in my life. And it did come with its, with its own little drawstring dust bag, so I just keep it in there and I keep it in my purse. Next thing, a mask. Y'all already know. This is my backup mask. Um, I typically keep all my masks in my glove compartment in my car for if I'm going in somewhere. And then I have masks like in the house and stuff. But in my purse, I always keep like a little black mask as like a backup. If y'all know of any like cases, maybe I gotta figure out if I wanna start putting this, huh? I gotta find like a little case or something to put my mask in because I don't wanna keep like having them just like out in the open. So the next thing in my purse is gum. <laughs> This is just um, the Orbit. I think it's like bubblegum mint or something like that. But I just always keep like gum or mint in my purse for obvious reasons. Um, and then the next thing up is my Chanel hand lotion. So it just looks like this. It's shaped like a little egg. I love these. I always call these the Chanel eggs, you know? So, yeah. And the last thing I wanted to say for last is my phone. I have an iPhone 11 Pro. So my iPhone does fit in my bag with everything else. Like, um, let me count the items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Like 14 things were in my purse. And I feel like I had some pretty good essentials. Like, you know what I wanna do now? I think I wanna repack it to show you guys how I pack my purse because that would make a lot of sense to do. So let me adjust the camera and then we're gonna go ahead and repack it. Okay, so the purse is right here, as you can see, and here's like all my stuff right here. So the first thing I put in here is my phone. So I do put it in there diagonal, like, oh, I'm gonna show y'all. It usually sits diagonal. At the end, I'll probably be able to show you. It's not sitting up because there's nothing else in here. So it's just falling over because it has the space too, but I keep it diagonal. So um, that's kind of like the divider of it all. So the next thing I'm gonna put in here is my card case, like I told you. I'm gonna sit that right in front of my purse. Um, grab my hand sanitizer, sit that behind the phone. Here is the, um, the lotion, sit that back there too. Uh oh, the top came off. Actually, I'm gonna put that in the front of my phone. I have the blotting papers, put it behind the hand sanitizer. Put the mirror right there. The gum is right here, so I'm just gonna slide this in there too. Here is the pin, just gonna slide that diagonal right there. AirPods, put that there. The perfume right here. Lip balm right here. Lip gloss right here. Here is my spoolie. So just gonna sit that, stand that straight up. And then the mask. And that's 
everything. Everything I need is in the purse. And it may just look like stuffed to some people, but I think it just fills it out like very, very well. And this is what the purse is supposed to look like. So, you know, I think I do a pretty good job. You know what I mean? <laughs> So yeah, y'all, that is what I keep in my little itsy bitsy purses. And this is definitely like my everyday stuff. Like I feel like I got everything I need right here in this little bag. Um, I will do more of these videos with other small purses I have because I have bags that I carry that are smaller than this and some that are like a little bit bigger. Um, and so my essentials kind of change depending on what bag I'm carrying, but I wouldn't carry a bag somewhere where I would need things that I can't take with me. You get what I mean? So yeah, um, if you're interested in anything that's in my purse, like I said, everything will be in the description box below. The purse itself, um, I'll link the Telfar website, but I don't know when this color will be available again. Um, they do release like one color at a time. Sometimes two colors or three colors at a time. Their, their releases are very sporadic, girl. So I, I can't even tell you. But I will say that it's worth it. I know some people have said, you know, people have their opinions about the Telfar bags. Yes, the design is very, very simple. Like, it's literally, I think his name is Telfar Clemens, y'all. I'm wild because I, I think that I think that's his name. I know in the beginning I was saying his last name is Telfar, but his first name might be Telfar. It makes me want to look. Let me look real quick. Do my Googles, do my research. Which is what I should have did before this video, so forgive me, y'all. Let's see. Yeah, his name is Telfar Clemens. Duh, Janae. I was saying that in my head in the beginning, but I was like, I don't want to be wrong. But no, nah, his name is Telfar Clemens. So this is him. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be sure to put all the information in the description box below. But yeah, get a Telfar bag. I'm, I'm here for it. I know that the, the designs are super simple, but I feel like if you get a color that speaks to you and you're buying it for the right reason, you won't have a problem with the bag. Like I got a small one because I just knew that anything bigger is just wouldn't work for me. Like I tell a lot of people, like I just know myself. <laughs> I'm still learning myself, but as far as like my style and aesthetic go, I think I pretty much have it down to a T. So I never really have a lot of problems with the things that I buy. So yeah, love this bag, love it to death. All the things that I need are inside of it. Again, the stuff is in the description box. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you want more videos like this, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.